Hey guys and welcome back, it's me XR Hammer, and I'm going to be playing some more Dragon Quest Builders for you. And if you remember last episode, we'll do a quick recap. We managed to go and kill the giant Droll Defiler, and we found the Heart of Darkness. We gave it to Gerontius over here, and he concocted an antidote. So we managed to save this villager, which is Cass, I believe? Casey, or Cassie. So, we may as well talk to her and greet her into our lovely... Uh, it's not lovely at all. It's just an awful looking city. <laughs> right, so... What have we got to do? Go on, take it. Oh, seed of life. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to a seed of life. Honestly, I really am not. And right, what we need to do is we need to upgrade this base to level 2. So... Let's go and get some earth. Only got 57 earth. What is wrong with me? Normally I have stacks and stacks of earth everywhere. Right. Um, let me just run over here quick. I'll just go and get some more earth because 57 really is not enough. It's not going to go very far at all. But oh, the moves. How many am I getting roughly? Eh, uh, you know. It's not Pow, look at that. Awesome. That was planned beautifully. The timing on that. Oh, I love little moments like that. Normally they all happen off camera, typically. So I'm really, really, really happy I caught that. Right. I think that's enough dirt. Let's just go in. We'll build a couple of rooms. We'll build a nice looking kitchen of some kind. Might just leave it. No, I'm not going to leave it like that. Right, let's just build this at some really weird looking angle. And no, I'm going to have the door just here. That'll do. Right, obviously, guys, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> pack it up and build it out. I just thought I'd go and make the necessities. I need a door. I've got a fire pit over there. I need some form of lighting, so I'll make five torches. Actually, I'll make ten because I've got more buildings to do. More than just a one. So, thinking about it, I'm going to need more than one door, aren't I? Yeah, we'll get a chest. Ah, oh, we'll get two. I think I'm just going to double up on everything. Apart from pots, I might make a few of these. Dum da da dum da da dum dum dum. Right, do I really need? No, I don't need anything else. Right, let's take my little cook fire as well. We. Oh, well done. Hey, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to raise the walls up as well. Again. Make them free high, just so that they're not the same as the actual buildings. Or, I, I don't know, I might just leave it this time. I don't know how I feel. Right, let me put one up here. Oh, you have to put them on the floor, do you? Hmm, that kind of sucks. But let me do it. I'll do one there, one there. I didn't want it there. Come here. I wanted it here. Right, and then I'll put a chest... In this corner, beautiful, I made a crude kitchen. I'm gonna put a pot down. Oh, I've done it. Uh, I'm still gonna make the uh, workshop. Beautiful, you guys go and inspect. I'm gonna break that. 35, ah, oh, I've got loads of earth. Right, so what I'm gonna do, can we go off it? No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double up. Uh, Wrong buttons. Right. Then I'm going to build across this way a little bit. I'm probably going to end up changing all of this. I'm just, you know, having a bit of fun. Seeing what I can do. Right. Carpenter's workstation. Obviously right at the back. 
I'm going to have a light over here, light over here. Uh, the chest can go, chest can go in this corner actually. Right, beautiful. A pot over here, a pot over here, just to make it look. Yep. Um. Uh, I don't know. I'll just let the villagers jump wherever they want to jump. It's quite nice to just be able to jump over your base. In all fairness, I like it. Uh, yeah, and I can jump in, which is bad because that means the enemies can jump in. But either way, we have managed to make a horrible looking workshop and a crude kitchen. So <laughs> I'm happy. All right, let's go and talk to Mr. Gerontius. Talk. Yes. Beautiful. Hmm. Yes, I've heard about this. Hades Condor, a hellish bird that darkens both our skies and our hearts. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming, just because everybody was talking about the golem in the first chapter, that this Hades Condor is going to be our final boss, which sounds awesome. I like the idea of, you know, slaying a boss. <laughs> it's, it's quite nice. Ooh, we've got boss... Uh, well, a base defence. Uh, yeah, let's do it now. Actually, what I'll do is I'll skip ahead, guys. I'll go to bed. Wake up. We got a nice, lovely start to the battle then. <laughs> right, I'll see you when we uh, wake up. Good morning. Right, let's go and start. Actually, let's go in here. Put all of our stuff away. And let's go fight him, because hopefully, if it's the same as the first chapter, I'll get a teleportal. Hmm. Yep, it's fine. Let's do this. Oh, of course I'm ready to fight them off. What a daft question. Pew! I love that. Whoa. Where do they spawn in from? Hello? Oh, they attack from here. Right, that makes sense. Oh, are these called drolls? That would make sense. Ho ho! Here we go round the mulberry bush. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Lay off the beans. Whoa, that dude's a bit bigger than the others. Let me do. Kapow! Look at that, yeah. Ooh! Witch grass seed. Nice. Was that it? Well done, at least. Well, yeah, that's three of the villagers. Nice. We did a better job than uh, Rolo. I mean, Rolo just used to get stuck in random places. Honestly, guys, if this is like one of the first episodes you're watching, go back and watch some of the defense missions from the first chapter and just keep your eye on Rolo. Here's... One second. Where did these come from? Hello? That dude looks like Ken Elm. <laughs> hey, cool. Right, let's go and talk to a uh, matey boy. He'll probably tell me to go through this blue portal. Hmm. Right. Okay. Yes, I am indeed. You just say I can get my grubby little hands on all manner of stuff. Oh, honestly, they give me a lot of abuse. It's not nice. Prickly wilds. Right. Explore the prickly wilds. Find out what's causing the paralysis that's spreading throughout the land. Okie dokie. Right, where are we going to put these down? I feel... I don't know. I'll put it around the back. I'll hide it. Yeah. Right, well, we've got two new villagers there. So... Right, let's get... Wow, missions all around. Like, whoa. Right, let's welcome these two in first. It's quite a lot to do. Whoa. Um, Edsel. Well, dude. Get in the bed. Lay down. 
Right, he needs an antidote herb. That's fine. I'll sort him out in a moment. Let me go see what's up with this guy. Keen. Keen and Edsel. Right. Wow. Where am I? You're at my base, dude. Whoa. L. How can I lay him down when you stood on the bed? What sort of etiquette? Water? Um. Um. I haven't got any water, dude. You're just going to have to remain ill for a minute. I don't know. Right. Uh, da, 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 what did you need? Antidotes. I can deposit that. Deposit that. Deposit them. Bish, bash, bosh. Beautiful stuff. Where's Nosh when you need him? <laughs> uh, I can see that being an ongoing thing. Right. Well, he just needed that. Um. <clears throat> right. Let me go... We'll do it. We'll go through the portal. Are you ready, guys? See if it makes that sound. same horrible noise, actually. No. We'll see what these people want. Uh, right. Prickly wilds. Yep. Everything's going to be to go through these portals. Or well, this portal, isn't it? Right. Beautiful stuff. Right. Yeah, I won't get across. Come on, Nosh, you can do this. Just take a deep breath. Uh, but this town sucks. It's so dull and depressing. Ah, oh, fair enough. <laughs> At least we're on the same level. Uh, look around the Bodkins village for me. Right, again, in the prickly wilds. How to make a fishing rod. Oh, cool. I get to do some fishing. Uh I know I can use it to travel. Believe it or not, I've had one before, Casey. Right, build you a room. Wow, with at least 10 blocks worth of water, a couple of pots, a wash tub, and a comfy stool to sit on. And a chest. <laughs> Anything else? No. Right, well, we'll be doing that next episode. She's just going to have to wait. Let's go. Wow, that same... Evil, nice. Wow. And straight away, there's somebody ill. Ugh. A navy globe. Beautiful stuff. Right. Let's talk to this. Irvin. Right. We'll go back. Oh, dude. Can I? There we go. <laughs> I thought I couldn't enter them while I was carrying them. That would have made no sense at all. Right. I'm pretty sure I haven't got a bed. So for now, dude. You're just going to have to lay on the floor. Just, <laughs> I'm not going to leave him there, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. I need to go make another bed. Let's make two, actually. I've got a feeling as though I'm going to pick up more people as they were all talking about paralysis. As well as being poisoned, it sounds like I'm going to have loads of paralysed customers to look after as well. Oh, I made an infirmary. Beautiful. It's probably a quest to do later on. Right, let's carry on. Oh, that sound, honestly, guys, it goes right through me. Right. Ooh, orange slimes. Kapow. Come on, dudes. Hoo -hoo. I actually took a little bit of damage there, but that's cool. That's cool. I'm down with that. Right, can I get pumices off these? Oh, just straight up stone. Beautiful. Wow, and if I can actually hit this slime. Come here, dude. Yeah. Where's Splattrick when you need him? He could have talked to these. But... <gasps> Trees! Yes! Give me wood! Ah ha ha! Beautiful stuff. Oh, I'm loving this place already. I'll take it all. It's fine. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Right, the bonus is, now that I have wood, I can make a coffer. I, hello. What's up with your face, dude? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Pack it in. Haha, <laughs> he's got like a little birdie face. <laughs> that was cute. Why can't I pick that up? Is it different? Um, um. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm going to use my seeds of life. I don't see why not. 
Right. What is it? A tingle weed bud. Okay. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> right, let's make sure I've got enough stone because I might be... Haha. <laughs> I come prepared. I believe I have two giant mallets left. I'll take the wood. I'll take all the stone I can get. You know what, guys, actually. I might just take the wood back with me now, make a coffer, and then come and do some serious off-camera farming because it's coal up here. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I love it. But, wow, I can't even pick coal up. Right, dirt, be gone. Right, so I've got coal. I've got wood. I've got stone. I'm pretty much going to be set. For a long time. Look at all the food and stuff, guys. There's loads of stuff here. Look, I can farm up all this back area. Wow. Right, this is going to be immense, honestly. Let me just go and get a couple more trees, I think. A couple more should do it. Hiya. And then we'll go jump back through the teleport. or see if I can make the coffer. Which, hopefully I can, because I really need it. Because my inventory is just not big enough without it. Nothing up here? No. Right. We'll jump off. Doop, doop. Right, through the teleporter we go. Eerie music. Ew. Right. Uh, it's nearly night time. But it doesn't matter. Where am I going? In here. Into here. Where is the coffer? I need fur. No! <laughs> oh, I got so excited as well. Right, let me just... Ah, oh, can't even pick it up. Wow. I suck. Um, yeah, guys, as the sun's setting, I'm going to end the episode off here. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.